Hey guys, Reno here. Welcome back to B Main G Drive for a little bit more banger racing here today. I'm hoping that Windows doesn't try to do this update it's waiting to do. You know, Windows just loves to do an update whenever it wants to. And up front, we have the Miramar Backrunner, which, as ever, has more gears. Actually, has the same amount of gears backwards as it does forwards, but they're not going to be any use apart from the ones going forward on this track. Second place, the only new car for this round, the VW Scirocco, the original one. And it's the Sport variant. In third place is another front wheel drive car, the Pacima V6. In fourth, you can't lose this car in the dark, the Pursue, because it's definitely not a Supra, T-Top Sport. And all the way at the back, the car that needs to win, the Pacima, not Pacima, it's the Sunburst CJD. It's all the way back here, because otherwise it obliterates everything. So I've got it so all the cars should meet towards the first braking zone. Of course, the front three will meet before that, but for the other two, they're not going to get ploughed everything out of the way immediately. As ever, the slowest cars at the front, fastest at the back, two laps of the circuit, any cars that DNF or get lapped will be out. If the car that needs to win doesn't, that will also be out. And if a new car wins, then of course, the car that needs to win will be out. All the cars have a slightly different risk factor because they all spawn on 0.3. I hold it down to get closer to 0.69 because it's a nice number. And it also found the happy medium where most of the IA cars work at. Now the first two finally make contact with the Shroko, finally catching up to the back of the uh, Marama. And then with the Pacima there getting involved as well. All well, the mud flaps are really, well they've definitely got the flat part sorted for the mud flaps. The Pacima now pushing their way into the Shroko. Both the Shroko and the Pacima front wheel drive. But the Shroko is the lightest car here. And I think also the smallest as well. Let's go in front there with the Marama, which however has a lot of body roll and very skinny tyres. It's not got as quite as high AI risk factor this time, so you shouldn't go shooting off at the first corners without getting a push, like he did last time. And then the Supers looks like he's catching up, it looks like he's just going to hold back a little bit, because these front four cars, they don't need to win, they just need to be in not last place. However, if all the cars finish and the car needs to win doesn't, then the car in last place gets a lifeline and makes it through. Although, I don't think the uh, the Shroko is going to be doing much of that. Oh, ho, ho. that is destroyed the front of the uh, the Shroko. You know, how far behind is the Sunburst? Can't see if it's all that smoke. And then on the run down down in turn one, can the, can the Pacima push the Marama out of the way? Did the... Oh, uh, pause that. Oh, he's taking the wheel off. The car needs to win. It's lost a wheel. Oh, that could change things massively. Although well, that thing is four-wheel drive, so it, it works with having a wheel missing perfectly fine anyway. Although the Maramar's not made the corner, got a lot of a got a low wiggle, and now it's gone straight off into the gravel. The Scirocco, I think, is also out because it's front-wheel drive, and if one of the wheels doesn't work, then none of it's going to work. But I'm not going to move it because why would I do that? So it's now the Pacima that leads from the Pursue in second, and a three-wheeled Sunburst in third. Like I said, four-wheel drive. It doesn't need all four wheels. Whereas the the car pretending now looks like the Scirocco is a car that needs all of its wheels. So if the Marama can just casually get itself round, then it's going to survive till the next round. I'm going to put this thing on disabled, turn the engine off, and see if I can get it going again. Come on, Scirocco. No, it doesn't want to go backwards. It doesn't really want to go forwards either. It doesn't need the rear, the rear wheels. I mean, I'll give every car a fair opportunity to continue. So I'm going to remove this wheel, turn up the force a little bit, and see if that makes a difference between it moving. It doesn't seem it will, so put it back out onto random and try and let it get going itself. Back up to the battle up front, though. It's still the Pacima leading the way. It's got a little bit of a pulling out a little bit there from the, from the Pursuit. We are getting into the braking zone because it is a faster car with a, in terms of top speed. And now then the uh, Sunburst using its bumper as a weapon, going to push the Pursuit round. And then the Pursuit is going to hit hard into the wall. So like a little bit, it goes for a move on the inside, it's a Pacima! The two front leading cars are going to take each other out! And here comes the uh, Sunburst, want to give it a push. Now then now the Pacima is now just completely sideways. And it's going to get pushed through. And now then they're going to take the lead now of the Pursuit. Uh, from getting shoved wide, makes the move now for the lead. And now we've got a second of... Now the battle between second and third going on. Now the Pursue pulling away from the Sunburst and the Pacima, which is trying to keep itself side by side. I don't know if they're still together. I think the front bumper of the uh, 
of the piscina might have got stuck in the sunburst. We'll see over the curves how things go. As the sunburst is still trying to make it through, Lucky is going to push its way through just about. It's side by side, it's got the rear wheel, which means it could get turned around. That's not the place where it wants to be. I think they might be actually stuck together now. No, it's not. Oh, the pursuit's had issues though. The pursuit, the pursuit's really slow. What's happened there? The pursuit massively slow there after the corner. The Shrocker's got it going. It's going the wrong way. I'm looking at this fight up front first. As all three of them are now, I think, I don't even know. I think they all might be stuck together now. But the Shirocco needs to be, uh, where is it? Is it back at the start? Not quite, so I'm going to have to put that on disable, turn the engine off. Get it turned back around pretty quickly. Uh, and put it back now onto random. With the engine on. And let it back, get it back going again. Now is the pursue. We're going to make another move for the lead. They're going to get pushed around now. So contact with the sunburst. I'm going to slow things down once again. Uh, to four times slower now as this as the sunburst now tries to make the move for the lead. The pursue's going to trying to hold it through. And that is the front bumpers now with the rear. It's gone round. The pursue's finally round. And on the minute... Uh, <laughs> the uh, Pacima's back in the play now, going side by side with the Sunburst. Looking side by side now, the front bumper's been eaten by the uh, the Pacima, so that's not ideal. Has the bumper done any damage? I know, I think it's just stuck under there. But I will slow things down though, and try to remove that. Even as I said, even with three wheels, four wheel drive cars, they don't need anything more than that, so. Despite being on three wheels, the sunburst now makes it throw into the lead. And then can the pursuit get itself going? Yes, it can. And then Maramar is going okay, and the Shiroko... I think removing that, that rear wheel was the correct thing to do. I also think it doesn't work in reverse anymore, though. That's why it, it wouldn't go anywhere at that point. You can see the whack it took, though. I mean, the size guys been completely pushed in. And all that did was take the wheel off the sunburst, so... Sunburst is pretty tanky, and even on three wheels, it's already pulling away. And oh! And you're broken! It's out! The leading car's out! It's not in the road, though. It hit the engine on the curb! We've got a new front place car for next time! A new front car! The Shroko just needs to make it round and not get lapped. The Shroko needs to make it round unlapped, and it's gonna be through to the next round. It even runs over the front bumper as well of the Sunburst to show a little bit of its disgust there. Now, he just needs to remain on the lead lap. And it's going to be the Pacima, which is the car currently in the driver's seat now, and is the uh, the Pursue close enough to make contact. Because it's just off the racing line as well. And the Pursue makes it through. The Marama looks like it's going to make it through as well. This thing is the car with the worst brakes here. How's the Shroka looking? The Shroka has finally made it through the first corner. Well, it's technically the second corner, but the first breaking point. I mean, if you take out the time this thing lost, it should be somewhere near the uh, Maramar anyway. So it's, got, it's just got to not get lapped. Well, actually, it's got to survive it first, but yeah, they, it's just got to not get lapped. Because the Pacima is fairly close, but given it's only the third place car going off the second, I, think it, I don't think it's going to catch it, really. As the Supra is now on the second lap as well. I don't think the Ramar made contact with the... Oh, maybe it did. Well, could it just spun itself? It doesn't look like it's hooking it down, I think it just spun itself on the curbs. I'm not quite sure how this thing is still working. It's good to it's, it's front wheel... Actually, it's good to it's front wheel drive, yeah, instead of rear wheel drive, because if it has to remove a rear wheel there, this thing definitely wouldn't be going anywhere, but it's taking the crippled car lines there, which is definitely just going to waste more time, so... It's wasting more time, but I think it's, like I said, it's still a thing it's going to be actually, no, this is actually pretty close. So we could end, we're definitely going to have a new last place car, but we could end up having a new second place car as things stand as well. I don't see the Pursue catching up. Does that the, the front light still work? Nah, they think it would. The rear lights are definitely not set they're definitely not, actually they, they still work, they're just somehow shoved into the back of the car, but still working somehow. The Marama is just taking it easy. And then the Shroka. Can we see the Pacina behind it yet? Not quite. It's coming down the other so it's just out of camera shot there. Now, how is this thing going to play it? Is it going to try and take out the Shroko as well? I think it's going to have another unknown car in front of it. It knows it can take out the Shroko. But if it waits and just wastes time, 
it's going to end up losing to the Pursue. Go see how slow the Shroko is going. But then again, the Shroko could end up even taking out the Pursue, because that is a danger with lapping cars. Because usually the ones getting lapped, there's such a speed difference between them. It's making it around the corner, because it's going so slow, I don't really think it could spin out, even if it wanted to. And so the Pursue now into the braking zone. Got a nice this thing, also the car this round with the highest risk factor as well, so that's going to counter into it. Catching up other cars pretty soon as well. Everything else is in the 60s. Well, everything that's still going is still somewhere in the 60s. And then the Pursue. And the Pursue is catching up now, then to the back of the Shroko. Gonna slow things down again. A little bit slow, but he needs to be careful with his front wheels, but I think he's just gonna go and plowed it out of the way. Speed that back up again. He's gonna go and hit the wall. A little bit, a little tap. But did the Pacima take any valuable damage from that? Not really. Nothing that's going to make a difference to the car. Again, just cosmetic damage. Don't sweat. And see if the Scirocco doesn't have re doesn't have it, its reverse still, then that's where the issue going to be. It was going slightly in reverse there for a sec. No, it's found reverse now. So it was just that wheel before that was causing it issues. Now they're going to get it going again to go forwards. Yes, it is. Now, is, the, is the pursuit going to get a pass before it comes back onto the road? It's going to be close. Just gets back on, so the pursuit gets a clear run past. Now, how far behind is the Because the Maramba end up lapping the Scirocco as well. Unlikely. I mean, it is pretty slow, but. They're both getting pretty slow, but I think the Maramba is still not going fast enough to lap it. Although, it's going at 20 mile an hour. There's, there's a chance, I suppose, it could catch up. And now this thing's now overheating as well, so. That little tap on the wall somehow was enough to take out the radiator. Or well, I imagine what was left holding the radiator together. The front of the Pursue are definitely looking very mangled now at this point. And the Pursue, yes, yeah, taking it easy at this point. No need to push it, this is not going to win, does he? doesn't need to win either. And I think he still has both both of the side windows. He's still got all four of his windows in one piece. Which is more than can be said for this guy. He's still got the rear window. But I think that's about it. Well, the Ramal's going to go round, is it going to hold the slide? Not quite, not on those skinny tyres, it isn't. Although actually going nice, that's a really nice drift it through. Nice that the Maramos is showing off at this point. I think it must have I mean, it's seen that the sunburst is out, so it's having, a, it's having a little bit of fun now at this point. And then Pacima gets past the sunburst once again, laps the car that needed to win this round. And it, losing its wheel ended up being the car's downfall. Now it's only got one more corner left to go for the car that will become the new race winner. And we've had the sunburst for quite a while, he's in quite the. Uh, Quite the machine, but it's made its match in the end, which was a curb. And the curves have been pretty clear in the past, as we've seen, but now coming up to the finish line, it's going to be the Pacima to win this round of banger racing. I've, and officially, although it was going to win because it was lapped, knock out the Sunburst, and we have a new winning car to look for for the next round. And the Pursue keeps a nice line to the inside, there, keeping away from the other uh, Sunburst. And this thing's going to make it now around the final corner. Shouldn't be any dramas really with this car either. He nice and slow, some other rear lights are still working, not quite sure how. Probably with some sort of like elven magic or something. The power of the orange, so Donald Trump probably paid to make it work. But now then, coming up to the line, the Pursue is going to finish in second place. 47, so not the fastest we've seen over the line. And now then, is it going to have end race contact with... I think it is actually. Slow that down a little bit. And race contact with Pacima. It is not all too happy. I mean, the Pacima is the car that starts behind the Pacima, so I don't really know what issues it's having. What issues they've managed to have throughout this race. And now he comes to the Scirocco. Going to come through. Is that going to take out? Get another hit on the Sunburst. He knows it's out. He gets a whack. He takes off the bonnet. And if that just compounds it for the Sunburst at this point. Now, if the Scirocco can unlap itself. I'll put it on stopping, but if you can get past the leading cars, which it probably won't, maybe, that, maybe that's why the Super went for the hit, to get the Pacima far enough. That there's no way that the Scirocco could unlap itself. I mean, it's still going to come through and take the hit from the Maramma, maybe, so there's still a chance it could yet get through, but it's still going to have to be working at that point anyway. Although the Pursue has done a pretty good job of blocking the road, and the Scirocco makes it over the line doing 40, so he's actually got some decent speed at this point. Just a shame it wastes all of that time, though. And the Scirocco, yeah, that's had enough. Just pulls off. Didn't want to go through another lap of that. I mean, with the condition it's in as well, I, mean, I can't really blame it. Now, how far behind is the Marama? 
Not that far, actually. Let's, go, let's get some cinematic shots to end off with. For this Maramba, once again, somehow finding a way to survive these rounds. He's going to come now into the final corner. Let's say that's going to have contact with the Sunburst, getting a long angle shot. He does, it makes contact with the Sunburst as well. Everything's just hitting the Sunburst now at this final point. Let's get a button on the back on board on with the Maramba, which from the inside is, is, is a stripped out race car. And that's taking a tuck a whack on the back of it, so I don't think any cosmetic damage, nothing actually important really to the Sunburst. Now as we come now around the final corner, he's going to go for another little slide. I guess that slides the rear a little bit. That's going to be about that run now up to the start finish line. And he's going to have any end race contact with either the car in front of it. And the Rambo makes it through doing 47, so I think he's got some pretty good speed. And he's definitely going to have contact with the pursuit. Oh, rips the wheel. Well, because with the weight was angled, I'm pretty sure he just broke the steering on that wheel. On the, uh, th on the pursuit. Does, does that wheel still work? No, we didn't. Yeah, it took out the wheel on that, or took out the pursuit wheel there, so. These two are going to have some pretty heated exchange next time, in the next round, I imagine. But now, the new car to look out for. It's the most bog standard car here, the Pacima V6. So if you enjoyed this episode of Banger Racing Mental, leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell, so there's not any future videos. If you give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram, that'd be much appreciated. They'll be linked in the description down below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.